Hi, I'm Jackson. Welcome to the Anvo Tech Support Series. Uh, today we're going to unbox and build the Flex Overland. First step is to get it out of the box. So these are some of the extra items included in the box. I'm going to unwrap everything and show you what they are. Now that we've unpacked everything, I can show you. This is the front rack and hardware. Front fender and hardware battery, headlight, charger, touch-up paint, rear foot pegs, pedals, tools, and additional hardware and fasteners. So the next step is to get it into the bike stand and remove all of the packaging. To do that, we first want to insert the seat post. So to do that, you want to remove the seat post by cutting the zip ties. Insert the seat post into the seat tube and close the clamp. Make sure the clamp is tight and there's good tension. The bikes can be pretty heavy, so make sure you use a buddy when lifting it. Next, we're going to remove all of our packaging uh, and we're going to start with the zip ties. So next we're going to attach the handlebar. The first step is to remove the faceplate as I have here and to insert the bar. You'll want to start by loosely threading in the bolts. Now you'll want to move the bar into the correct riding position. You can adjust this based off of your your desired reach. Ensure that your stem faceplate is even and there's a consistent gap at the top and the bottom of the stem. Next, when you secure the stem, you'll want to use an X pattern, doing the bottom right and then top left and then top right and bottom left. So the next step is going to be to put on the front wheel. Just make sure that you're aligning your disc brake inside of the disc brake caliper. Pull up on the wheel to ensure that the, the wheel is centered in the dropout. And with your 15 millimeter wrench, tighten the wheel. Next, we have to attach the seat to the seat post. First, you're going to want to loosen off the seat post just enough that the top bolt here doesn't disconnect. You want to turn the top piece of the clamp sideways and align your seat rails to the bottom piece. Then you're going to take the top piece and turn it sideways. Once you have done that, you can tighten the bottom of the clamp. Next, we're going to install the fender. We're going to start by inserting it by the back of the wheel and we're going to take the long screw and we're going to put one washer on it. We're going to insert it through the front of the fork and through the fender mount. Next we're going to get a second washer and our bolt and install it on the back of the nut. And then with a wrench and an Allen key, we're going to tighten it. Next, we're going to use our included hardware to mount our fender stay. So to do this, you want to first put your bolt through your washer, your fender stay on the inside, your bolt through, the other washer, and then the other bolt. Once you're finished tightening this, if you need more clearance for your fender, you can make adjustments using this bolt right here and sliding in or out the fender stay. Next, we're going to repeat the process on the other side. Next, we want to install the headlight. 
ensure you have the correct orientation by positioning it with the cable at the bottom. You'll want to use the included hardware with one, with one spacer. Put another spacer at the back of the bolt and then the nut. Repeat for the other side. Now you want to connect your headlight. Do it by aligning the arrows on your plugs and pushing them together. Once that's done, you can align the, the headlight so it's facing down towards the road. Next, you want to connect the throttle. Ensure that the arrows are aligned and push the connections together. Now we're going to install the pedals. Please note the left and right. Next, we're going to want to install some grease onto the threads of the pedals. We can do this by just putting on a light dab and running the threads together to ensure that they're fully coated. Next, we're going to install the pedal. To do so, insert the pedal into the thread, hold the, the pedal with the wrench, and pedal backwards. And repeat on the other side. Next, you want to install your foot peg. To do this, you'll want one of the long bolts with a washer. Put it through the foot peg and through the frame. At the back, you'll want to install another washer and a nut. Now we want to securely tighten it with a wrench and Allen key. So next you want to attach your seat cover. So just get the clip underneath and attach it from beneath the rack rail. There should be three in total. One, the middle one will already be connected and you'll want to reconnect the front and the rear one. Next we want to install our front rack. To do this, you may want to unravel your cable tie here and put your front brake cable and wiring harness on the inside and your rear cable and shift cable on the outside. Use a nut and washer. Next we want to attach our battery. We can do so by aligning it to the battery mount and then sliding it back. We can then remove our keys from the bar and use it to secure our battery onto the frame. Please be aware that your keys have a code on them that matches on the lock cylinder. If you ever lose your keys, you'll need this code to get a replacement. So next we're gonna do our final adjustments to our seat. So first you wanna make sure your seat is level and give it your final tighten. Next, if you're lowering your seat, you may notice that there's points where it can't slide down any further. To get around this, you'll want to remove some of these bolts. To fold the bike, you'll want to push this forward and release the latch. If you do that, the bike will fold to the side. If you want to fold down the bars, you can loosen them through the loosening the stem's faceplate here. To unfold, you just lift up and turn the bars out to the side. You just need to ensure that you're not clamping down on top of any of the cables in here. Once it's closed, just push the lever back into place. If you're riding on smoother surfaces, you may want to lock your shock. To do that, rotate the tab into the locking direction. To open up the shock, turn it back in the other direction. To charge the battery, Move the charging port cover out of the way and connect to your charger. To turn on your bicycle, you'll want to press the power button on the right side of your display unit. 
Using the arrow keys, you can cycle through your pedal assist, five being the highest and one being the lowest. To turn on your lights, you'll want to press and hold the up button. It should turn on your front light and your tail light. If you press the M button to the left on the bottom, you can cycle through different modes, including average speed, max speed, trip distance, and odometer. On the right side of your display unit, there's a small plastic cover. If you remove this plastic cover, you'll find a USB port that you can use to charge your phone or other small electronics. The brake light will activate automatically as soon as you squeeze the brake lever. Now that we have our Flex Overland fully assembled, please be sure to fully read the user manual. You can access the user manual by scanning the QR code on the seat tube. If you have additional questions or concerns, please follow the link below to our user help center. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe.